Hi everyone, Lisa here from LC Designs. Are you ready for some football? I am, of course, I got my Niners. For those of you who know, I am an avid 49er fan. And today kicks off Monday Night Football and my team is playing. So I wanted to make a quick video of, I seen these the other day at the store when I was shopping. I thought, oh, I can make a treat package for those um, for my Monday night football party. So, um, I'm going to share a quick project for you and you can make these for any tailgate party. Um, you're going to have a football party, even if you don't do football, maybe your son's grandson's team or something, a snack. Um, I found these at Albertsons, but I'm pretty sure everybody carries them. So let's go ahead and get started with our project. Okay, so here's our project. As I showed you, we had this, um, or I found these football brownies at Albertsons. So it fits in the box. And we're gonna make this box like a sturdy double-sided box. Or, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a sturdy box. So let's go ahead and move our brownies out of the way. And we are gonna need a seven and a half um, by six and a half piece of cardstock. So let's go six and a half. Let's go seven and a half. And this is going to be our box bottom. The box is going to be sturdy, but the top, not so much because no weight's going to be on it. And let's go ahead and cut this is going to be four and a half, exactly what we have. So three and a half, three and a half by four and a half, which we have. And let me get my Simply Score. So we can score these. Ah. Right. I'll be needing that in a minute. What's on the floor? Seems like I'm always dropping something. So on the long side, or actually this is going to be all four sides. Um, we're going to score it at one inch and two inches. One inch, two inches. This is where our box becomes sturdy because we're going to make it like double sided. So one inch, two inch, one inch, two inch, one inch, two inch. Okay, what did I do with my lid? I think this was my lid, four and a half, yep, by three and a half. And this one, we're just going to score all sides at a half inch. So a half. Looks like I just lost my lighting, huh? The sun went, cloud must have went over the sun. So half inch, half inch. So on all four sides. All right, so now, let me get this out of the way. I got this falling. And we're gonna burnish all our lines. Again, this one's the lid. And then I have some little samples of how they're gonna be cut. So if you need to stop the video or snap a picture, you can see it. There's a lot of lines, a lot of lines to burnish. And all right, so this piece is going to look like this piece. I got some spots there from the sun. And then this piece is going to be like that. So let's cut this one first because that's the easiest. We're just going to trim each corner to make our little tabs. Um, I chose just to go with a half inch on the lid. Uh, 
and we'll do the last one. And let's go ahead and glue these. That way, when we go to glue the others, this one will be dry. I need my handy dandy little close pins. That one there, this one here. You guys know I like to do 3D projects. When I seen the brownies, of course, football season is here, and my 49ers are playing Monday night football. So I originally was doing this as a, oops, I thought this one had moved. I was gonna do it for uh, Monday Night Football, but then I chose to do it for Workshop Wednesday instead. All right, so that's our lid. Now let's put this one here. It might seem a little confusing, but let's just, let me try to make this easy on you. All these, squares come out on all four sides and then we're going to take the four smaller squares off these ones so the one square that's going to come off of each side Oops. And another. Are you all into football like me? Me and my girls. I raised them <laughs> watching football. So they have just as much fun as me. Okay, so now I'm turning it. And we're going to snip these tabs to make them our inside tabs. Ooh, this one, I need to cut this. That's kind of why I always uh, angle these, because of the score lines. Might not be... you know cut exactly right so then it gives you that little leeway to play with there and there so now we should look like my sample and we do okay so now let's move the sample out of the way and then these we're going to do pretty much the same we're going to put these to the inside of the little pieces, or the small sections. I think I write that in my instructions about the small sections. And glue. I always use liquid glue. You can use tear and tape. I think tear and tape's a good... Uh, sturdy adhesive as well uh, there's our four tabs and then now we are going to adhere these to the inside so some more glue and again this is just we're making a sturdy box so you can put something heavy in here you know, it's not going to be so lightweight. And then um, these brownies, were they're a little heavy. They're not like extremely heavy, but they're heavy. So adhere that one. I got some glue that's squeezed out over here, but this will cover it. And our brownie shouldn't glue to it. Looks like all the glue is gone, but we can use our bone folder to secure all those 
my poor bone folder broke the tip off. My husband broke it off once. He was trying to fix something for me and he used it for a tool. But I missed that tip. And this is my team, the Lucky Charms. So I've gotten each of my team members one of those at one time. And I can always order more if I get new members. So there is our brownie. And this box comes with um, six football shaped brownies and they were under three dollars i don't know they were like two um two something so there's our lid so next we are going to cut two um these are a quarter inch by 11 and we're going to use some pecan pie ink and we're gonna just lightly brush some on i'm trying to make my football looks like it's dirty you know it's been on the playing field right and these make a uh, good little um treats for your child's um football team if they play football so we're not gonna do it too dark and then I will need some, um, I will do, we'll brush some more in a minute. So, um, now we're going to cut these and we need two strips at, um, two and a half. So two and a half by a quarter. These are a quarter. So you know what these are? When I cut my five and a quarter by four basic white pieces. I always cut a whole package of um, basic white cardstock, so I always have those ready. And this is the end piece that's left over. It's a half inch, and so I just cut it in half. So I have tons of these. So again, two and a half by a quarter, which we already have it at a quarter. So two and a half two and a half and then we need some others so these are going to be the two sides and we're going to angle them oh, those are the two hey i've got glue on my hands that's sticking to me those are the two sides then we need the center strip is going to be just two inches so that's the center and then each of the other strips is going to be one and a half. So one and a half, one and a half. When these pieces get small like this to, you know, to cut, what I do is, let me show you my, this is one and a half. Even like to cut those quarter strips, I get this tape from Scrapbook. You could use 3D, um, 3D, the, um, like the post-it tape. I don't know why I was calling it 3D. I think I was thinking of 3M. So you could always just, like, that's at one and a half. You could put that tape on there and cut. And then that way your paper don't move and your things are precise. Um, one and a half again. Put that on there and one and a half so we have our four strips so let me show you two here's my extra strip that i always have see it's a half inch so i'm going to go over to a quarter and so what i did to cut these to hold it in place just put that piece of tape there and then that quarter inch will cut without moving pretty easy i love this tape love 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 it it is from scrapbook.com okay <clears throat> so now we have all our pieces so what i'm gonna do and i the reason i angled these well, let me make sure i angle them the right way just there's you don't have to cut so much off just angle it and i wanted to make it like kind of like rounded so it's like a football oops got that glue on my fingers and so then we're gonna do the same no oh, this I get confused 
we're going this way on this side ah. and this way they're actually the same direction but this one was our center stripe and does our football look like it's dirty you could probably even put some uh brush some or blend some onto the box as well and trying to get those little sun these things that are coming through my blinds okay so here's our center stripe this one goes underneath and you know where i was looking for my football design right on the box of brownies let me show you where did I... well there's one here and there's one here so see how that strip is underneath so i put it down first and then we're going to put our other ones and then here's our two white stripes so now we just need these and so you know um these strips a lot of people i'm sure throw them away i always keep them because they're um perfect for like little sentiment i like i did this one next so that i can then space them correctly but yeah those are perfect for little sentiments and the little banner die from the stylish shapes fits perfectly on those those half inch strips okay so i forgot to print my logo on cardstock so what i did for this logo is I went into Google and I searched San Francisco 49ers um, logo and it comes up with all kinds of images. All I did is copy in um, or saved it to my computer and then I added it to a Word document. You can add it to a PowerPoint document. I'm sure you could add it to sheets and then just print it and print it on cardstock. So I had done this before when I was doing um, we had the hat, the baseball hat um, stamp set. So I had already made this document, but I forgot to um, to print this on cardstock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna die cut the one that I already have. You know what? I might make a Raiders. Raiders when you're from the Bay Area even though the Raiders are no longer in the Bay Area um, you either like the 49ers or you like the Oakland Raiders there's nothing in between okay so now let me get my white card spot and we're gonna do this and I'm trying to decide if I should do the other one I think I might stamp it first. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Because I have my little, here's my die. So what I'm gonna do first is I think stamp. And I'm gonna do pecan pie ink. I'm gonna stamp it right here. And do you know where I got that stamp from? <laughs> I got it from my small business. You've got great taste. I thought that was cute and perfect. I'm using the Unbounded Love dies, the circle die, and this kind of um, bannerish die. I don't know what you call it. Um, they're both from that stamp set. So let's bring this one back in here. And we'll center this right on it. Like so. Even though it looks like it's covering the letters, when you cut it, it is all good. Okay. 
Okay, we shouldn't need this anymore. We got this. Let's move this up here. Get this tape out of the way. And so what I'm gonna do is, since I didn't cut it on card or print it on cardstock, I'm just gonna glue this one to it. This was, I was uh, practicing printing it first. So that's why I did it on regular copy paper. So there is our two things, but now we gotta make them dirty. They can't be nice and bright and white, or could they? I didn't do them on this one, bright white. I kinda wanted them to blend in. So let's stamp on our brush off. Ooh, that one came out a little bit dark, darker than I wanted. We just want a little dirt on them. All right, this pecan pie has been a perfect, perfect color for these things. Okay, so now we're gonna add a dimensional to each of them. And I am still using up black dimensionals. I have so many. So I do have Raider fans in my family and I have 49er fans. But I am a diehard 49er fan. So there's our two boxes. Now the only reason I didn't add a ribbon or anything is because I kind of, I don't know, associate a ribbon just being feminine. <laughs> and so I wanted to make this um, just a football. You don't have a ribbon on a football. So I hope you guys like my project and you all have a great rest of your week and I will see you live next Wednesday. All right, you guys take care. Bye.